silver cluster leaf tree is a very important um, very important source of forage at this time of the year. You don't have to come under here. I'll bring it to you, jean -Rue. Fussy, fussy boots. Um, very important source of forage this time of the year. During the summer months, you won't find much eating this at all. But now, with there being not much else to eat, just listening, um, you will find lots of animals eating this. And you can make quite a nice string out of the bark. You peel it off. In fact, Herbert is the one who should be doing this, but I'll try and show you how to do it. While I do this, Paperboy Johnny, you want to know about... Um, there we go. <laughs> Look at that, I didn't even need my knife. I just took it out to show you how manly I am. Um, <laughs> Paperboy Johnny, you want to know about what snakes we get here. And, uh, well, we get lots and lots of different kinds of snakes here. The most uh, obvious ones are the ones you would have heard of were the dreadfully terrifying black mamba and um, they of course are found here in fairly great profusion then you get the something called a puff adder they're the most commonly seen snakes because they're a bit lazy they're like lions and then we get lots of other things tree snakes which is the most toxic snake or poisonous snake in Africa a venomous snake in Africa and um, then we get what else do we get? African rock pythons beautiful kinds of snakes and we get things like um, yellow-bellied sand snakes and striped-bellied sand snakes. I'm just running through them as I try and make my rope here for you. Uh, uh, no, you know, I know what's going to happen here is Herbert is going to arrive and take over from me and embarrass me horribly. Right, there we are. So you take three strands like that, okay? And this is a particularly good tree for it. And then you plait them together. Now, I don't know how many of you can plait can you platter on me? You should be able to, given your hair. Um, <laughs> tie them in a knot at the end, like that. Okay, I'll make you a little bracelet, Chandra. Shall I? Mm. Like Herbert made for Jamie the other day and didn't make me one. <laughs> and then we plait them together, one for one. Oh no, I've only got two strands. Suddenly, <laughs> it's going to look so terrible. Wait, 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 everyone. I will get the Brent is still um, repositioning. <laughs> Thank you, Iret, as you say. Are all South Africans this kooky, or am I just a unicorn of humanity? Um, what are you? Herbert has uh, said something. I didn't quite catch it. Um, I think you'll find that uh, quite a few South Africans are quite kooky in some ways. I think you might find that I'm slightly more eccentric than most. Um, <laughs> Chandra thinks, yes, I'm definitely much more eccentric than most South Africans would be. Um, yeah, no, look, I, I, I don't think I come out of the draw of normality, no. I'm very c happy that you think I'm like a unicorn. Some would say I'm much more like a, a, a less pleasant rarity in life, uh, but I'm very happy happy to be a unicorn iratus thank you so much all right here we go we've almost got some rope here jandre uh, almost got a piece of rope long enough to use as a tow rope <laughs> now so in somebody else's competent hands everyone this would be quite impressive but you see how i'm plaiting jandre you see how competent i'm plaiting mm, i will not touch your hair I will not touch your hair without a valid tetanus shot. Now, there's the rope. You see? It's not very neat, but it is actually quite effective. And that is the silver cluster leaf tree, and it's quite an effective rope-making tree.